Hi there, traders. This is Brad Gilbert with the FX Market Insight for Wednesday, the 16th of September. All right. <clears throat> now, coming out of that uh, North American session, a bit of a slight uh, risk on day. Okay, a little bit of a correlation here too with a couple of these uh, pairs. If you're checking out the correlation matrix, Kiwi seems to be uh, ticking a few boxes at the moment. Uh, and obviously a few of the yen crosses with uh, dollar yen and a bit of a nosedive. All right, so that's a sort of starting point for us. Now let's just have a look what's, uh, what's been going down. There's, I'll tell you what, there's a lot of, a lot of storm activity uh, in the Gulf of Mexico here. So just keep an eye on these. I mean, they don't seem to be um, really kicking into gear just at the moment, but uh, oil, this uh, oil trade is sort of, uh, well, it's on call basically. The, uh, <clears throat> all right, now let's just have a look what the, what the currencies have been doing. Now, the dollar index has been telling us a lot about the majors, right? You can learn a lot from just looking at it, despite the uh, uh, euro being the major part of the basket. It's just trading sideways, right? We're having a, a few false starts. And this is, uh, you know, a lot of the news that's being sort of pushed around the place is, you know, all waiting for the Fed you know, <clears throat> see what the Fed are going to do, et cetera. So we've had a, a few little false starts. The Aussie popped to the top side, Kiwi, Euro, uh, Sterling. It has just started trading sideways. I think there's a chance. Now, I haven't seen any Brexit news, as in a, like a deal between the UK and, and the EU. I think the way it's set up and how far it's come, I think we've got a chance for a bit of a false break to the top side here and then back into the range to refresh that downward move. So uh, at the, outside of that, right, outside of Sterling, I think the, uh, the rest of the pairs, we're just in a holding pattern, waiting to see what the Fed do. So Sterling looking for a little bit of a false break there. Um, if anything, I mean, even on uh, Kiwi, the Kiwi, if I shrink this uh, up, you'll see it's still within recent ranges, right? So all we're doing is we're, we're getting these subtle little new highs and new lows, the same as uh, what we saw here on uh, Dollar Cat as well. But overall, the market is, it, it's geared up, ready to go, but we're just not getting the follow through, right? We're not getting the follow through, uh, knockout sort of um, data release or central bank announcement or geopolitical event. Now, this is where the Fed comes into play, right? And you've got you to really... You know, focus on what the market's looking at, not just not just you on your technical analysis, but um, have a good look across the market. Now, we've got pretty good trading conditions, right? The currencies aren't going sort of loopy-loo. We are lacking momentum, and that's something that is a bit of a, an issue for us. Market direction, well, sterling is still the pair to me with clear direction, but uh, to me, it's more of a chance for a false break to the top side uh, and, you, and you can be looking to cash in for that matter too. If it breaks above 128.93 or 129, the figure, you're probably going to see a 20-point move to the top side at least, okay? And then I think it goes back down unless we get some fresh news. But um, there is some potential on there. This is what I've highlighted in the uh, potential opportunities today. Looking for a false break above 93. And then once it gets back down below that, we're looking to get short again as the, uh, you know, if, if, if there's no new news, the trend doesn't change, right? So I can't see that changing anytime soon. And the rest of the pairs, well, we're just lacking the short-term momentum, okay, to match up with what's going on. The, uh, the dollar index, and this is why the Fed, right? I'll just come down to the uh, data down here. So you're looking, there's a, there's a bunch of releases, right? We've got UK CPI, US retail sales, Canadian CPI. You know, in any normal day, these releases here would be epic, right? If we were just trading normal market conditions and we had uh, trend lines around, you'd be all over this, right? It'd be hugely important, a great trading opportunity, every one of these events. But right now, you know what? It's, a, it's they're taking a bit of a side, uh, bit of a, <laughs> sitting on the bench. And so the federal funds uh, rate and statement, press conference afterwards, this is important because if we can get, US dollar direction here out of this event, then what we're going to see here on the um, uh, market direction, we should see the short term charts with clear direction. And when you get those matching up with the longer term direction, that's where the easy trade, trading opportunities come in. So that's why the Fed event is so important. Even though I don't think we're going to see anything out of them, something, anything new, I mean, I think you've said it all, 
in saying that, the last minutes really did keep the market in. So let's just see how that goes. Hopefully, it gives us short-term direction. So the uh, North American session is pro- probably going to be the one to be focusing on, right? Up until then, I don't think the uh, majors moved too far. If anything, a bit of a false break opportunity here on Sterling. And that's all I can really sort of pinpoint at this stage. All right, guys, have a good trade day. All the very best. Cheerio.